you utilizing all of Windows features? If not, then today's video sponsor, Bob Keys, is here to help. Bob Keys sell all types of online keys for super cheap. Let's take a look at how cheap we can get a Windows 10 Pro key for. Currently, it is selling for 19.5 US dollars, but with the coupon code IFR25, you can get 25% off of your order. Simply click buy now, enter the code IFR25, and watch that price drop to $14.62 and submit your order. In the user center, under purchased orders, you will find the key. Start typing activate in Windows search and paste your new key to activate. This key will be permanently activated. Again, if you are interested, use code IFR25 for 25% off, or you can check out the links in the video description. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Stunning. There's probably more spots. No. <laughs> You're such, you're such a loser. <laughs> oh my Wait, god. Are we recording right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, how's it going, guys? Hi. Patreons, YouTube members, thanks for your support. Here's another build. This is the Singularity Computers Wraith ITX. And we just finished it. Amelia, thoughts? I liked it better with the RGB. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> oh, of course you did. I'm joking. No, I like it. I think it the looks really RGB. good. I had to say that. Yeah. So there's only... I've got a couple of issues with this case, though. Number one, we made a bit of an acrylic part for the front there so that it would cover more of the power supply cables. Number two, I can't hide this stupid cable up here because it's just a flat backing and you can't bring cables to the back. So, unfortunately, depending on which way you look at it, some parts could look a tiny bit messy, but we did our best anyway. Like, we zip tied everything underneath the um, power supply shroud there, and um, I don't know, that's the best we can do. I think it turned out pretty good though, right? Yeah, I love the gold fittings choice. That's a good gold choice. Gold and blue, we haven't done that before. Yeah, so I like that combo. I don't try it. But uh, what do you think about the, the distro plate though, like being part of the case? Well, I mean, you can't, you can't really see it from the front. Oh, well, I'm looking from the back and that's all I Should I go see. around the back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, give them a view of the back. Wait a second. Oh. I need to top it up a tiny bit up the top, but we, there is one channel we didn't end up using but it kind of worked out like this. Um, the case didn't come with a D5 pump. I had to get my own D5 pump and put it in. So, yeah. But like even the front, um, there's a space for an LED strip and so it's meant to light up the front, but oh, the yeah. case didn't come with an LED, LED strip either. So yeah, missed opportunity. Would have looked pretty cool though. Yeah. Still a good build. Yeah. Do you like the uh, little motherboard in there? Yeah, it's so tiny. ITX, Asus Strix Z49. I even like how the logo looks so small too, the Asus logo. I filmed that a couple of times because I like that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, like that. Yeah, it's pretty that. cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so what do you guys think about this build? Let us know down in the comments. Always appreciate your support, guys. Taking the M.2 SSD out so the fans are stuck in orange. Cute. Hey, orange and purple's not too bad, right? They do go well together, yes. I mean, this is a bit of a weird orange, but. Well, yeah, but uh, this seems like a jet engine. Do you want these fans inside of your personal No, board, thank you. No, you sure? thank you. No? No. Okay. Well, so this is our Cool Master. NR200P, I believe it's called. I think so, yeah. NR200P? Mm hmm. Yeah. This was a nice case to build in, and we managed to fit a full custom loop in there. The only problem is so the case allows for custom water cooling. It's got a, a pump mount, but I had to find the thinnest GPU block I could <laughs> in order to just fit it in with like five mil clearance between the radiator. And so that's kind of choking it anyway. So what I would have liked to have seen with this case is at least another five mil clearance maybe, or 
if they made the feet bigger, you could mount the fans on the bottom and then that would give more room between the radiator and the GPU block. Just saying. But um, apart from that, it's pretty cool. We ended up filling it on its side from one of the ports up here so that it could directly feed into the pump. What do you think about the purple though? I love the purple. With the white fittings? Yes. Like white it stands out a lot. Yeah. And I ended up making it a, a, um, a backplate for the GPU as well because it doesn't have a backplate on it. So it just would have been showing the PCB which looked pretty ugly. I just can't believe you water cooled it. Yeah. What about the <laughs> RAM though? The RAM's pretty cool. It's like a diluted RGB which I thought was pretty nice oh, but like yeah. even the sides of it light up it's not just the top it's mm -hmm. like the sides as well so yeah I thought it was pretty cool but I can't stand the noise levels <laughs> of these fans what fans are these? Uh, Coolmaster oh. fans yeah ARGB fans but so they are PWM fans but obviously with the PC not booted up or anything there's no PWM happening at the moment so they're just running full ball yeah but yeah very nice build yeah what do you guys think about this build let us know in the comments appreciate your support guys we'll see you in the next one this Hello. is mine amelia's pc this is my pc have you dusted it off yet uh, maybe, hmm? maybe. Have you been keeping it clean? <laughs> yeah, look mm -hmm. at it. Yeah, yeah, it looks clean because I, I put a lot of effort into it. I love this PC so much. Look, the RGB. Everything. How silent it is. I like the unicorn vomit liquid. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the, the minions look really nice in the front too. Yeah, they do. And I'm also using our wallpaper at the moment. Ah, that's yeah. from the... Um, our monthly wallpaper Yeah, the release. monthly wallpaper for the Patreons. Yeah. Very nice. That looks really nice actually. It needs RGB cables. No. Yes. No, keep it clean. White cables <laughs> all, all day. <laughs> I love it. Don't need more RGB. I think it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. I'm happy. Uh, anyway, guys, appreciate your support. Thanks, we'll guys. Catch you guys later. How are we doing? It's a hard choice. It's a hard choice, Very huh? Very hard choice. So what are we deciding right now? Cables. Cables? Cable colour. Okay. So we've got everything silver at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm contemplating having uh, red liquid, which means the tubes will be red. And obviously this portion of the distro plate, you know, wherever the liquid is, it's going to be red. So that's how we would incorporate the red cables. But I could also make the liquid white or gray and I could have these gunmetal sort of cables in there, which suit the build as it is much more without any liquid in there. What do you think? It's such a hard choice. So it's red. You know what, prior to filming this, I originally thought the um, silver, gunmetal, yeah. yeah. But now seeing it on the camera, I think maybe the red. Really? I know, I just switched my mind yeah, that fast. Yeah, I changed my like, mind. You had me going for this I one. I know, now. I was set on the gunmetal. So I know red would look better on camera. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it does. Stand yeah. out wise, but. Uh, in terms of the theme of how this is all going, what do you think is better? <sighs> Such a hard choice. I, like, I think adding the red liquid in would bring it all together. Yep. Because you'd also have red in the middle of the motherboard, um, the graphics card. So you'd have parts of red everywhere. It'd be cool to do one of each. Okay. I'm going to power this on. Bit of a workout. Hang on. You should see him struggling to lift these PCs on the desk. 
Oh, there we go. Power wasn't on. Electricity. Wow. Wow, what a difference. Wow. <laughs> This looks so cool. Look, it's RGB at the moment. I love that. It won't be RGB for long. I think it, what did we set it to? Was it red or white? I don't, I don't, know, I don't remember. White? I don't know. It was an all white decision though. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. <sighs> so I started taking this thing apart a tiny bit. If you come around to the back, Amelia, we'll show them the um, back section where the cables go. We didn't have full cables all the way to the power supply, so I was able to like plug them into the first couple and then they kind of had to go like this because like this one's not long enough to go all the way down but it looks really neat. Like imagine if I had a set that just went straight from the power supply and up the channels. That looked really nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Do you like the blood red? You mm -hmm. kind of... I. For me personally, I feel like now that I've done it, I probably would have went with a solid color. Like what I said. No, we're not saying that you're right here, okay? <laughs> we'll just skip over that part, huh? <laughs> yeah, cut it out. Cut, cut that it, part out. Cut it out of the video. <laughs> not what I said we should do. <laughs> Wait, they haven't changed it. Oh, well, it's staying RGB. You like RGB better anyway. Well, I think the white looked better on this, but... Oh, okay, fair enough. I want what this What about the ram. tornado? I want this ram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that ram is Can nice. I get this on camera? Or Thunder. Oh, you can sort of see it on camera. Oh, yeah. The little tornado. Yeah, nice. I like that tornado. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'd like this RAM in my PC, please. The RAM? Yes. Yeah, you know how expensive that stuff is? Am I not worth it? I kind of want it in my, <laughs> in my new PC build. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I kind of do want it, you know. 64 gigs, maybe. So four sticks? No, it's going to be eight. I'm putting eight it. sticks. I'll put eight sticks. You in. can't just lend me four. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, you've got. Good oh, it's white now. Oh, is it? It just took a tiny bit to boot up. That's all. Singularity Computer Spectra 2.0. This case is, and we got the front distro as well. Mm, it's very it's nice. Try something a bit different anyway. Would you uh, rock this case in your in your uh, setup, or are you happy with what you have? I mean, I prefer what I have now, but I would I wouldn't say no to this either. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you got minions on your glass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. So as you can see, we made our decision. We ended up going with the red cables after all, and uh, we're quite happy with the finished look. Who knows, we might do a rebuild and try some chrome tubing with the gunmetal grey cables. Yeah, what that would think? look good. You think that would look good? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we'll give that a go. One thing, and you did say it at the start, that I wish I did, is lighting on the fans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So good. I was right again. <laughs> well, <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's why oh, I yeah. didn't do lighting on the fans. Okay. Because there's no holes to bring cables to the back which means the fan cables can only stay at the front. And with RGB fans, you've either got two cables hanging off that have to go into a controller, um, or you've got one cable that goes to a controller, and they're normally very long as well. So I need to try and find a spot to hide a controller and all of these cables coming off of it. So it just wasn't really worth it to keep it clean for me anyway. Yeah. Uh, I could have built like an acrylic box or something around it, but at the end, the white fans did their job anyway, so. It's something different that you don't usually do. Yeah. Anyway, that does it for us. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this build and the choices we made to go with the red. Uh, thanks for all your support, guys. We really appreciate it, uh, both Amelia and I. Is that right, Amelia? Yes, thank you, guys. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.